Uganda, like the rest of the world, is experiencing complex climate change shocks. Parts of the country suffer from recurrent flooding and prolonged drought that underlie endemic poverty and pervasive underdevelopment. Flooding is often during the rainy season and is associated with community displacement, destruction of property, and in extreme scenarios, loss of lives for humans and animals. In the recent years, the country has experienced increasing rainfall totals owing to climate change, among other factors. Unfortunately, the increased rainfall has been linked to increased suffering of people settling in low-lying areas. These are seasonally rendered homeless by floods. The good news is that if well managed, rainwater has more good than harm. It can be a trigger for community stability and eventual growth. Rainwater can be harvested for domestic use, animal feeding, groundwater recharge, industrial and agricultural production. Effective rainwater harvesting reduces the amount of water disposed into the environment as storm water. In this video, we explore some of the various rainwater storage technologies. First is the valley dam. Valley dams by design store collected surface runoff that is later used accordingly. Wabale Valley Dam in Wabale Village, Westward Parish, Nakasongola Town Council is a good example of a valley dam. Constructed in 2004 by Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industries and Fisheries to provide water for animal production and domestic use, Wabale Valley Dam serves over 2,000 households plus animals from 15 villages in Nakasongola Town Council and five more from Wabinyonyi Sub-County. It provides water throughout the year. We have recently got now been enrolled to national water, but still the facility which provides Nakasongola Town Council with water, safe water, it is on and off. Water is always on and off. It keeps, it's a very old system. It keeps on breaking down and on like that. So when it is down, people normally run here to get access to this kind of water. This is rainwater harvested from the surrounding hills. All the rain the, the runs off from those hills you're seeing around is captured here. As you can see, the arrangement, they discovered some soil and then they blocked water runoff, not to go away, and uh, created this facility. The valley tank is another technology for storing surface runoff. A case example is Bamusuta Valley Tank in Bamusuta Village, Chapteka Parish, Kakoge Sub-County, Nakasongola District. The Valley Tank was constructed in February 2016 by the Ministry of Water and Environment. This Valley Tank is relatively advanced, having two elevated reservoirs. Water is pumped into these tanks using a solar pump and is served to three villages of Bamusuta, Kanyogoga and Kachira with water for feeding animals and domestic purposes. The facility has three taps installed to enable community collect water for domestic use from a separate point and three troughs installed where animals drink from. Another case for a solar-powered valley tank is found in Wabaye village, Kiwimbi Parish, Wampanga Sub-County. The tank was constructed by the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries in 2016 to provide water for livestock and domestic use to three villages of Bwire, Wambale, and Rwampanga. The uniqueness about Wabaye Valley Tank is inclusion. The system design provides for cattle spraying and a sanitation facility to be used by water users as need arises. The Valley Tank design can be modified based on the available resources. If the available resources can't allow installation of a solar pump for extracting water, one can use a hand pump. Such a case can be found at one Tavia village, one Piti parish, in Wabinyonyi sub-county. The valley tank was constructed by Nakasongola district local government with the support from Minister of Water and Environment, mainly to serve one Tavia, Zongo, one Piti and Kizongo villages. A hand pump was installed and is used to pump water manually into the trough for the animals to drink. The same hand pump is used by the community to get water for domestic purposes. Land where this facility is constructed was offered to the local government by the community. 
Another modification of a value tank is found at Kachunyire village, Wampiti parish, Wabinyonyi sub-county, Nakasongola district. The valley tank was constructed in 2014 by PK Company Limited with support from the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industries and Fisheries. PK constructed this valley tank strictly to water his animals. Water is scooped manually and poured into a metallic trough from where the animals drink. He took advantage of the then ongoing government project where farmers with capacity were mobilized to provide fuel for excavation equipment to construct valley tanks on their farms. They gave one unit to cater for Luero, Nakasongola, and Nakaseke. So that unit it comprised of a, bull, a, a truck excavator, a, 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 a low bed, and then a tipper. So those trucks were put stationed at every district for a period of five to six months. Uh, farmers were mobilized and they were taken through. The procedure, how do you acquire the facility, you must have land, you must have some money to fuel the facility. Such that competent farmers, they refuel and then they take the facilities, start putting these facilities in their farm. The pond is another rainwater storage technology. Demonstration of this technology is at Margaret Wango's home in Changogolo village, Changogolo sub-county, Nabiswera County in Nakasongola district. Margaret adopted this technology to harvest water for her horticultural enterprise. She has two ponds constructed using heavy duty polythene. The two ponds combined store approximately 6,000 cubic liters, which she uses to irrigate her crops, spray them, and water her animals for at least one month into the dry season. If the water is clean, she sometimes uses it for domestic purposes. She scoops the water manually using a water can and takes it for respective use. Extension officers provided on-farm training in pond construction. We also went on a learning tour at Josephine Kiza's farm in Masaka, where this technology is being used. We were impressed, so when we returned to Nakasongola, we first tested with one pond, and when it retained water, we constructed others. The water is useful in many ways. Mm. The sand dam is another technology mainly promoted in Karamoja sub-region for collecting surface runoff. It is a reinforced rubble cement wall built across a seasonally sanded river. It's a low-cost and low-maintenance technology option for retaining rainwater. Rock catchment is another technology. Rainwater collecting on the rock surface is trapped and channeled into the underground reservoir for later use. This technology can be found at Kakizi Lugagala village, Butuntumla parish, Butuntumla sub-county in Luero district. The system was constructed with support from AMREF Health Africa in the year 2000. It has two water reservoir tanks that serve over 200 households in Kakizi village with water for domestic purposes. According to Mayanje Paul, the caretaker, if the two tanks are full, the community uses water for about six months. Among technologies for storing rainwater from the roof is the water jar. We find many of these in Uweru district. They were constructed at household level with support from AMREF Health Africa as a reward for homes that contributed to the construction of the rock catchment system. Mayanja, one of the beneficiaries, explains how useful the 2,000 cubic liters tank he received is to his family of 10 people. We use this water for drinking, cooking, and other purposes. It has enabled us to have water supply, given the nature of water scarcity in the area. Besides the water jars, plastic tanks can as well be used to store rainwater from the roof catchments. Plastic tanks are of varying sizes and selection of the appropriate size depends on the catchment size as well as available resources. An example of a plastic tank is at Proskovia Nantesa's home in Kasiso village, Bamgolode sub-county, Luero district. 
It is a 5,000 liter tank she received from Reach Out Uganda in 2016. Natiza uses the water for domestic purposes and feeding her chicken, pigs and cattle. I have a big family which uses the water. It does not serve us for long. I also have many animals that need water. The cows have to drink, the pigs have to drink, and the chicken. It can't last more than a month. Remember, we have to wash, drink, and feed the animals. The Emma's tank fitted with the Emma's pump can only be used to store rainwater from roof catchments. The Emma's tank is an underground tank that is very cheap, easy to construct and maintain. An example of this tank can be found at Joyce Nachirembe's home in Katente village in Botuntumla sub-county, Luero district. Joyce's tank of 8,000 liters stores water that is used throughout the year for all domestic chores, serving a family of 10 people. This technology was promoted in this area in 2013 by Busoga Trust, an NGO that was trained by the appropriate technology center of the Ministry of Water and Environment. To enhance the quality of water, the Emma's tank is fitted with a fast flush device that collects the fast fall water at the beginning of the rain before clean water starts flowing into the main tank. The fast flush is emptied regularly to enable it to store more fall water as and when the next rains fall. The ferro cement tank is another simple rainwater storage technology. The ferro cement tank is constructed above the ground and size choice takes into consideration of available resources and roof catchment. Ferro cement tanks were vigorously promoted across the country by different stakeholders, including Networks Uganda, Uganda Rainwater Association, Hiwasa, Chigezi Diocese Umurda, the ATC, and Busoga Trust, among others. The corrugated iron tank is another technology option for storing rainwater from the roof catchment. These tanks are assembled here in Uganda and are sold anywhere on the open market. A case to visualize this technology is at Nakato Mary's home in Nomonde village, Butuntuna sub-county Luero district. Nakato indicates that her family has used the corrugated iron tank for more than 30 years. The large diameter stone masonry tank is another rainwater storage technology. Large diameter stone masonry tanks can be stretched from 50,000 liters to 1 million liters, depending on the available catchment, land, and resources. Given its size, the large diameter tank is promoted at a community level. This type of tank can be found in Chiwangula Mosque, Chiwangula Village, in Ibusana sub county, Kayunga district. Busana is one of the water stretched villages in Kayunga district. The 100,000 liter tanks have 600 households from Chiwangula and Wampongo villages with water for domestic use. The tank was constructed in 2019 as a hands on training product by a group of women and men in the area. The training was conducted by the Ministry of Water and Environment's appropriate technology center. <laughs> We had suffered for long. We attempted over five times to drill different spots in search of a water source, but failed. It stretched the water problem on our village. Yet our village has over 600 households that can't find clean water. When ATC intervened, they understood our condition and provided this tank. We are very happy indeed. This is just a synopsis of the few rainwater storage technologies available in Uganda and the onus is on you to choose what is appropriate given the resources at hand, intended purpose of use and available catchment. To erase your fears, investing in rainwater systems may appear costly but is very cheap and pocket friendly considering the fact that once you meet the capital cost, operation and maintenance does not call for much. Besides, rainwater harvesting saves you the time to search for water beyond the point of use and above it is free for everyone. <laughs>